it affected my friend. She didn't have enough money to do it and she has to like go around and ask for money, her friends for money, till she gets money from her home country. So I feel the government, they should reconsider the policies and look at the welfare, welfare of students more. Yeah, I have a friend, uh, he's Palestinian, he lives in Saudi Arabia. His parents couldn't afford the already increasing costs of life in North Cyprus. So uh, on top of that, he has to pay $150 for the residency which was, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't do that, so he had to go back to his country. And I have another friend who took two jobs now just to be able to pay for his residency. The news about increased price of residency permit has struck students of North Cyprus when they came back from summer holidays. The total amount paid to complete student procedure has almost tripled. Some international students assume that states and other institutions only see them as cash cows. As a result of this, Voice Cyprus is interested in what students think and how they feel regarding the situation. Uh, how did this increase price affect you personally? Oh well, I had a fixed price in mind for the Majarat and when I heard it went up I was like okay it's going to cut more into my budget and uh, it affected my friend. She didn't have enough money to do it and she has to like go around and ask for money, her friends for money till she gets money from her home country. So I feel the government they should reconsider the policies and look at the welfare, welfare of students more. Uh, considering this, what will be your message to government authorities? Think about the students, think about the international body and the community, sorry. And uh, because we contribute a lot to Cyprus, so I feel there should be a point where we can strike a balance with them basically and everything will be okay. Uh, what is your opinion regarding the increased price in residence permit? Um, basically, it would affect our uh, it would affect our life in the university because, like, we are de we are depend we are depending on the money that our parents send us a uh, limited amount. So that's it. Like, we can't like just increase it in our. Uh, we just can't increase it if you ask us that big amount of money. So basically, we want you we want uh, you to in to to decrease the. Uh, uh, the amount that you told us to pay, which is really not acceptable, and we want you to feel, uh, we want you to be, uh, uh, to be in our spot, in our place, and feed the students. And uh, we just know that we don't have this amount of this big amount of money, and uh, we want you to know that the amount that we have is limited. Thanks a lot. Uh, what can you say to government authorities regarding the issue? Yeah, hello. So we face the problem when we increase the money of we increase the amount of money which we have to pay for a new visa. So I feel badly about this and you know that the students already have to pay lots of money for their tuition fees. So and I heard that many African people face the problem with getting visa and that's why they have to return to their countries. So, I guess the problem should be solved. Uh, did it affect you personally? Um, to be honest, not really, but I feel sorry for the people who are paying this extra money for this. Because I'm all, all actually last year, so... Um, as a Cypriot, uh, can you please tell what do you feel while seeing all your friends around struggling with this issue? The problem I see is that they want to have a residency permit, but unfortunately, site is collapsing. They can't do it in time. Also, the prices increase more than doubled. For this reason, they can pay it. So I think it should be arranged accordingly. And whatever the problem is in this price change, it should be fixed for students because they're still paying lots of money to school anyway. If we increase this pay as well, uh, the prices you know we have inflation now. So it is really hard for them to catch up with this. So true, thank you so yeah. much. Um, I think the increase in the residency payment is really unfair. Uh, we truly are the life source of this island. And for them to do that to us does not make any sense. And they increase the prices so much that a lot of students have to go back to their countries because they can't afford it. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense for us to pay insurance twice. We're paying for the university and we're paying for the government as well. 
It's not that uh, there's people having problems with the residency, but it's really unfair that they have to force this upon everyone in an extremely unfair way. Uh, do you know personally anyone who are forced to go back to their countries? <laughs> yeah, I have a friend. Uh, he's Palestinian, he lives in Saudi Arabia. His parents couldn't afford the already increasing costs of life in North Cyprus. So uh, on top of that, he has to pay $150 for the residency, which was, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't do that, so he had to go back to his country. And I have another friend who took two jobs now just to be able to pay for his residency.